dear brothers and sisters in Christ of our Northwestern Minnesota Synod, grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ, who loves us with a love that will never let us go. You know, I was reflecting this morning on that ancient prayer, the gathering prayer of the church, the Kyrie, those petitions for the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, for the unity of all, for our salvation. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy. This is one of those times when we understand what that prayer means, isn't it? We can definitely find our solidarity with the Church of God in every time and place that has struggled through difficult times of plague or famine or hardship. We're living through that time together right now. And we have the same assurance of the mercy of God. First of all, I want to thank you for your ministry. Your ministry in the gospel that continues to love and serve people even through this difficult time. Now more than ever, your work is vital to share the good news of God's love for us in Jesus Christ. So thank you. And then I want to give you permission, and I would even go so far as to make it a mandate that you take care of yourself as well. You are precious. You are such an important leader in your community, and what you have to offer is so important and so precious that it's critical that you guard it, that you safeguard it. And so, I'm asking you to do these things. First of all, a simple thing, give yourself an eight-hour opportunity for sleep every night. Now, you may not sleep for eight hours, but you certainly won't if you don't give yourself at least an eight-hour opportunity. So, take the time, turn off the screens, and take that eight-hour opportunity to get some, some blessed rest. And then, sometime in the day when, when it's best for you, create some space, some space to be with God, to practice a, a spiritual discipline or a spiritual practice that, that is useful for you, whether that's dwelling in God's Word or spending some time in contemplation or going for a walk, whatever helps do that and then move your body get out do whatever you can do wave to your neighbor and tell them you're okay and inquire if they're okay too take some space and time to move your body and also make space for lament there's something being lost here our opportunity to gather our time to gather around holy communion all of these things these precious uh, gifts to us uh, are being lost right now and we're having to refrain from these matters. I invite you to see that as a Sabbath, but I also know that this is a time also for lament. Lament for your communities and also for you. But then remember that lament always yields to praise. Praise in our faithful God. The same psalmist that wrote in Psalm 113, How long, O Lord, will you forget us forever, ends this psalm by saying, But I will rejoice in your faithfulness. I will trust in your faithfulness, O God. And then I want you to know that we as a staff are proud of you. We see your creativity, your faithfulness, your resourcefulness, your courage. We're proud of you and we're praying for you every day. So thank you for your ministry once again. You can expect to see more videos like this one where we will offer a word of encouragement or perhaps introduce a spiritual practice that you may find useful. In the meantime, know that you continue in my prayers and I'm grateful for, grateful for you. God's peace be with you. Thank you.